Welcome back to another video. As previously mentioned, I'm now moving on to the bank module on Sage 50 accounts. I'm going to cover things like adding a new bank account, viewing transactions of a bank account, editing bank accounts, recording payments received and payments made. I'm not going to cover bank reconciliations as that's quite an extensive thing. Not all of you will need to know how to do that, but I will cover that in a separate tutorial. I do have an older tutorial on bank reconciliations, but that's on an older version of Sage. The procedure is still exactly the same. The layout is just slightly different. So if the bank reconciliation tutorial is not up yet, then you can just watch that older video and it should be very similar um, and you should be able to follow along if you have the new software. So on this bank module on this screen there are a number of bank accounts added by default. There's a bank current account, a bank deposit account, petty cash, a cash register, company credit card and there are some other accounts too. If you want to add a new bank account it's the same as the customer module and the supply module. It's all pretty uniform is this software. All you need to do is click on new, but if you are fairly new to Sage, then use the wizard and you can add a new bank account. So you can go through that and it's the same as before. I put in the details and you finally have a bank account at the end. But for most people, the default accounts will be fine. You may want to change them. So one, two, zero, zero. If I double click on that, we can view the record and we can edit the record. So I'm actually going to change the name on this account from bank current account to, uh, let's see, HSBC current account. I'll save that and close it. So you'll see that's now HSBC current account. And then on here, I'll double click on that or I can highlight it and press the edit button. I'm going to do HSBC savings account and I'll save that. So you can see there now on here, HSBC current account and HSBC savings account. I know I've said this already. I may, it may sound like there's an echo, but it's all pretty straightforward. It's all uniform. It's the same thing over and over again. So hopefully I haven't gone through that too quickly. It's pretty simple. Just rewatch the video if you need to go through that again. In the next couple of videos, I'll show you how to record payments from the bank accounts and payments to the bank accounts.